this will probably be my last video. Um, most likely I'm going to end up becoming a company driver. Let's see, I'm over here on 81 South, just before, what is that? Rodsford? Uh, yeah, it looks like Radford or Rodsford, uh, exit 109. There's a little truck stop here. I was hoping I could make it, but I don't think she's gonna let me make it. Um, she's coming up this one hill, way back here. And she started making funny noise. Just sounded a little odd, nothing like it was knocking. And as soon as I got to the top, it just started rattling. So most likely what I did is I, th I'm pretty sure I threw a rod bearing. So at 750,000 miles, that's all this ISX road. It's probably normal for them. So uh, I didn't think, you know, I figured if she lasted to at least a million miles, I probably would have threw a new set of bearings in her, but she didn't last that long, so. Um, bad time for it to happen. If it would have waited about another two months, maybe, or a month for it to do this, I would have had money to fix her. But at least with this, you know, doing this dedicated route. Because I, I just looked at my next check, and um, it's going to be about $5,200. The last one was 48 and this next check, because the, the run that I'm doing right now is about a 1,200 mile run. <sighs> we made it to Virginia though. But this would have probably been about a, about a five and a half to a six thousand dollar check too, after fuel and expenses. So, yeah, I, I would have been able to fix the truck and it would have lasted another, what, month? Sometime in the next year. So now it's what, three or four days before um, yeah, three or four days before uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve, I guess, and I'm about 600 miles away from home with a load on the side of the road here in Virginia. I'm hoping she'll fire back up because I literally I just have to go a mile down this ramp and get it over to the truck stop and pull out from under it. That's I'm just hoping it will let me because pretty much what just shut it down was the low oil pressure light. She's still holding steady at about 15 to 20 PSI, but the computer doesn't like it. And when she shuts off, it's hard to crank this, crank her up back, back up because she's already shut off down the road. <sighs> and you know, to be honest, if it throws a rod through the block, it, it don't matter anyway. The damn thing ain't worth anything. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna sit here and ponder. And uh, yeah, this is what can happen. Just constant bad luck. I've had bad luck with this truck ever since I got it. Um, I had a $20,000 main scout. Maybe I should have took, instead of putting five down on this truck and finding the cheapest truck I could get, maybe I should have just took 20 grand and put it down on a newer truck. Problem is, hey, I had a pack car, uh, MX-13 and I was putting ten thousand dollars a month in that. It was like every time I made money, I had to put it back in the truck to keep the check engine light off. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just, you know, it's what I get for being Polish, I guess. So, um, yeah, it was nice while it lasted. I was really, really thought I had something going here, uh, at least at this dedicated carrier. So I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I guess I'm gonna end up getting a company job. I'll have to see what this carrier does. If they have a lease purchase, maybe I'll do it, but I'm gonna be so... I have the truck payment still for this thing. I have credit cards that are maxed out, business credit cards. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna really be in that big hole now. In fact, I just moved money out of my business account because they were going to take the payment for this truck out. And I'm gonna need that money. So now, so the bank's gonna probably call me again tomorrow and be like, hey, why didn't the payment come out? Yep. 
So yeah, like I said, I was gonna put the good and the bad. Um, I haven't cried much in my life. I'll tell you that right now. Um, cried when my mom died. I uh, cried when my grandfather died. Um, when I thought I lost this, I, I ended up ripping my bicep and had surgery on it. And after, after all said and done, I didn't have feeling in my hands for a good three or four months, which wasn't supposed to happen. I kind of cried a little bit there because I thought I wasn't going to be able to provide for my family. Uh, luckily it came back and they didn't have to try to half-ass fix it and stuff. So, um, uh, that's probably the most recent that I've ever, you know, fully cried or did cry. But right now, right now I'm torn between breaking shit and crying. So, it's just, it's just, what it, is. it is what it is. Um, the wife's sleeping. I didn't tell her. I called my old man, you know, and uh, he gave me his support, typical old man style, you know, where's all your goddamn money, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, this is the shit that happens when you buy a truck. I literally put $20,000 into fixing things in this truck, 25, maybe 30. Still have probably another 10 to go, you know, to make it perfect. I have the hood smashed up from it getting hit and run at the truck stop, bumper bent up. Just planning to fix that stuff. I already found a donor truck in the junkyard right by my house. So, yep. If this would have happened either earlier, like four or five months ago, I've been able to put a used engine in it. This would have happened maybe three or four months from now. Not even that. But this would have happened uh, next month, next year. This would have happened in, in January. I would have had the money saved up just from the runs I've been doing. And I would end up having a $7,000 used motor put in it. That's what I would have done and kept on trucking. Now, when it happened, and I've been babing it too. I was do, I've been doing 60, 62 mile an hour the whole time. Saving that fuel, I put what? I got about 700 miles out of 100 gallons of fuel, and I just put I, I just put I just put another 100 gallons of fuel in it not too long ago to get down here to Georgia. This is what can happen. This is being an owner operator. If uh, you're not ready to lose everything, then don't become an owner operator because it can happen. I gave it 120%. This was my last little hurrah, and it was going really good. Like I said, if this would have lasted like another month, this truck, I would have been able to just take, I would have had cash in my bank account and just paid for the used motor to be put in. Yep. Now, if I'm lucky, it'll start up and I can get to this truck stop so I don't have to get a towed. Um, I'm really hoping I can do that because I don't want to have to pay for a tow belt and then storage and everything. Because uh, pretty much what's going to happen is I'm just going to be like, hey, bank, this is where the truck is. Uh, come get it. So, I don't know. Never had anything repoed. It's gonna have to have this truck repoed. Even when I had my divorce, I never had anything repoed. Yep. All right, well, that's it for now. So I'm gonna uh, contemplate here what to do. I got the jumper cable sitting on the truck off the reefer to charge the truck up. So, uh, you know, I don't lose lights and stuff. And uh, yeah, maybe after it sits here for a while, it'll cool down and, and start up. Like I said, I already gotta go maybe a mile down this ramp here and into a truck stop, no name truck stop, with a big gravel parking lot. So.
So, all right. Well, you all have a good night. Hope you're having a better night than uh, than me. Uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. I was gonna make a video tomorrow, but yeah. So, all right. I'll see you.